I was recently having a conversation with a friend of mine and she was telling me how stressed she was because the holidays were coming. She had so much to do and not enough time, which we know is a real thing. In general, you lead a busy life. Then you get to the end of the year and you add in all the things you're trying to do to accomplish your year end goals and all the holiday stuff. And it's a lot and it can get stressful. And so she shared with me that in particular, there was this one event that she hosts every year um, that is really making her stressed. And so I asked her, well, have you thought about bringing in some help? You know, either getting someone in your family to help or having someone else do some of the food or bringing in someone else to clean the house or whatever. And she, it was like this silence. In fact, I checked my phone to make sure we had not been disconnected. <laughs> and she kind of sputtered and said, this is a big deal to me. I have to do all the details myself. I can't trust that anyone else could do them as good as me. Well, I immediately wanted to go into problem solving mode and say, well, you know, delegation is a real thing and you can delegate effectively because it's a skill. And if you just know how to do it, you'll be great. And let's look at this and let's look at that. And then I realized, wait a minute, <laughs> she just wants someone to listen. <laughs> and so I did. And then a little while later, I, um, we came back around to this conversation again. And I just asked her on a scale of one to 10, what was the pain like of staying right where she was? versus what was the pain like if she were going to reach out for help? Because when it comes to making changes and improvements in your life, the pain of doing something different needs to be less than the pain of staying where you are. And so if the pain of staying where you are is less than the pain of making the change, you'll never make the change. In her case, the pain of where she was, feeling stressed about this thing, was not greater than the fear she felt of reaching out and asking for help. And so she's going to go through this one more year and then we'll see what it looks like next year. In your case though, in the area of productivity, time management, efficiency, effectiveness, getting the things done that you want to get done every day, working less, achieving more, all of those awesome things. Where's your pain point? How high is it? And is the pain of staying greater or less than the pain of reaching out and asking for help. I invite you to reach out, ask for help today. You can reach me by posting a comment below or shooting, uh, hitting reply to this email if you're watching it in video form. And I'm happy to have a 30 minute conversation with you about what's going on and what are some possible steps that you could take to start to fix that. So reach out for help today. I'm Lisa Curley Malice, your capacity coach. And I believe everyone should have a day that's productive, rewarding and fun. If that sounds like something that interests you, you should totally reach out to me today.